217 BC, Italy. The Roman Republic is in the midst of a bloody war with Carthage. Witnesses at the Roman city of Capena report seeing something that defies belief. There's reports of eyewitnesses observing two moons rising in the sky. If you see two moons in the sky up here all of a sudden, um, you're going to be pretty shocked. The Romans take the sightings as a portent of doom. Can you imagine as a soldier marching into battle and seeing two moons rising in the sky? That's a terrible omen. It could easily spell disaster. Shortly after, the Romans suffer their worst defeat of the war as two legions are ambushed and drowned on the banks of Lake Trasimene. It looks like the omen came true. But that's impossible. Today, with modern science, we know it's not possible to have had two moons at that time. So what was going on? So the question is, what were they seeing? Modern scientists know the ancient Romans could not have seen a second moon in the sky. But could they have seen a different celestial body? One linked to omens throughout history. Well, one idea is it could have been a comet. Before we understood their nature, comets were portents of doom because they came and went unexpectedly. The characteristics of comets make them a promising candidate. Comets are very bright, they show up during daytime, and they can get very large. As a comet gets closer and closer to the sun, the radiation pressure from the sun heats it up and makes it essentially glow. It gets brighter and brighter and brighter. They also can stick around for many days. Although comets have a distinctive tail, if observed from the right angle, they would be invisible. If you see that from the front, you don't see the tails. What you see is maybe the nucleus and the gases surrounding it. So to a Roman soldier out in the field, he could look up in the sky and during daytime and see the real moon and then see this other object up there, and it could look like a moon to him. But that would mean that the comet was on a collision course with Earth, and none of the reports mention a cataclysmic impact. So could the mysterious moon actually be a larger object? but further away. Could it have been a planet? Well, we know that there are other planets visible at various points in time in the evening sky. Could Mars look large enough to appear to be a second moon? In August 2003, Mars made its closest approach to the Earth for nearly 60,000 years. People expected to go out and see Mars in the sky almost the size of the full moon, but Sorry, it was nothing like that. Mars did look bigger than it ever had done before, but it was still just a tiny speck of light. Nobody would ever mistake that for a second moon. No planet in our solar system could ever look large enough to be mistaken for a moon, even by superstitious Romans. But the Earth, once having a second moon, is far from ridiculous. The idea of having more than one moon in the sky is only odd on Earth. Many planets have multiple moons. Jupiter and Saturn have 60 moons. In fact, it is possible that the sphere so familiar in our night sky started out as two separate moons. The data suggests that in the ancient past, the Earth was hit with an object the size of Mars, and debris was thrown up around the Earth that later coalesced to form the moon. But it may have not coalesced into one object all at once. What if it coalesced into two objects? Some scientists believe that two moons into one explains why one side of the moon is flat while the other bulges outwards. We think that you ended up with a moon that's two objects that have now become one. And that's why the crust on one side of the moon is very different from the crust on the other side. But if Earth 
did once have two moons, it was a very long time before the Roman sightings. This process took place four billion years ago, millions and millions of years before the existence of the Roman Republic. There's no way that those soldiers saw any of this. And that is just as well, because if the moon had an identical twin, the combined gravitational forces would have horrifying consequences. The effects on Earth would be devastating. You'd have tsunamis, you'd have giant tidal waves. The rotation of the Earth would change. You'd have atmospheric effects, huge storms. This is something that we do not want to see. But the Romans are not alone. Throughout history, there have been numerous reports of two moons. No single explanation has been able to account for these dramatic sightings. The mystery remains unexplained.